Welcome back to Insecurity. After four years, I have finally landed my white whale. We have Ryan Perma. I don't even know the right way to describe him. Let's, because of his sincere humility, we'll go with a key part of the creation of the silence artificial intelligence, the machine learning mathematical models that have become kind of a thing. Yeah, like uh, it's it's been fantastic, kind of watching from the very first day of silence all the way through the that that journey into becoming part of BlackBerry here, uh, watching AI begin to evolve and become so inherently valuable to to securing systems from laptops to, to automobiles. Now you have had fingers in pies that have to do with securing endpoints for a long time. You now have an opportunity to work with something that already has 150 million endpoints on the road. Some of them travel as fast as 200 miles an hour. Does that change your perspective as a scientist? When you are looking at how you want to secure things, it's not in someone's pocket, it's not on someone's desk, it's in a Land Rover. It's a it's a shift, and I think the game changes a little bit as we talk about uh, that, that confluence of cyber and physical, um, that, that's uh, automotive, but also industrial control, uh, some of these uh, 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 medical devices, where, where these systems are very directly, uh, very directly touching human life, the, the risks are much higher. And, and it becomes more about the integrity of these systems because if we take an, a, a car and start talking about autonomous vehicles, that concept of being a bad neighbor, say you get infected and send me an email where try, you try to infect me, uh, in, in, in the, the PC world, that's not that big of a deal. But if you're an autonomous vehicle and you start veering towards me, that, that bad neighbor problem becomes very, very imperative. And so it's not just so much about protecting this vehicle, but protecting that entire system of vehicles. Uh, and, and because we're such a, a early stage in this, this is that imperative spot where we can start to, to bring security into the conversation and start to make it part of that base platform for, for how these things are going to, to make it to market and survive over the next 10, 15, 20 years. Since the integration, and we're coming up on it being a, a year since the, the closing of the deal with uh, BlackBerry and Silence, we've actually got two products to market with uh, the combined companies. Anything that you're looking at that you haven't had a chance to get your fingerprints on, but you're thinking, oh, someday I want to work with that. Uh, no, it's a, th this is actually one of those interesting things. Uh, so BlackBerry is a very different company from what a lot of people think. Uh, you know, It's easy to think about the phone history of BlackBerry, but their automotive segment is enormous. They're in nearly every major manufacturer. Uh, and just because you don't see it in the car doesn't mean that it's not powering the in-vehicle infotainment, the, the engine systems, the brake systems. And so get, getting a chance to work with such luminaries in the automotive field has been unbelievable. Uh, while security has always been in their DNA, being uh, uh, able to kind of come in from, from our background of threat-centric security thinking of how attackers think. I, I've been lucky, uh, I've been doing this for about 25 years. I've always had a, a, an in-house bad guy approach. Uh, and that stood me very well because you begin to understand how attackers operate and you keep up to date, you build better defensive systems. And so being able to, to work very closely with the automotive team uh, on concepts like a vehicle operation center, which we're demoing, uh, application of AI and ML, not just for security, but for safety and resilience understanding that security, while terribly important, is just a piece of the overall pie uh, in automotive. Safety becomes absolutely imper uh, imperative, and in these mission critical aspects, that's not gonna go away. Do you like making a move where you've now got to consider things when you're talking about a good neighbor, it's the car you might bump into, not just the computer you might infect on a network? This, this has been that journey forever. Uh, when we started Silence, it was to protect all the things under the sun. We knew that we, uh, we had ones that we could easily touch and ones that we couldn't. In our very early days, we actually intended Silence to be an industrial control system. The market wasn't ready for us then. As we start to go in, we're finding that with the deep uh, em embedded uh, history of BlackBerry, some of these markets are much more approachable and we can start to become that fabric of security. Uh, it's, it's all part of the protect everything under the sun. Uh, whether we're talking about uh, a, a CPU and, a, and an engine controller, uh, a smart city, or, or a medical device, 
these are these are attack surfaces that are that are there and will continue to be there. Uh, and getting in front of it now, before the attackers get there, helps us prevent them from ever getting there. Now we're about to finish up CES tomorrow. A lot of stuff going on in the springtime. You are a man who is in demand. Anything speaking engagements? We should be looking for you, RSA. I'll, pr I'll probably be at RSA um, uh, and definitely stop by and uh, say hi. But uh, beyond that, it's a, 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 I'm spending a lot of time these days focused on uh, aligning BlackBerry strategy and, uh, and, and, and working within our, our BlackBerry ATB, our Advanced Technology Directorate, uh, our, our labs function to drive new concepts uh, and to, to bring, integrate uh, elements from silence, integrate elements from the automotive, from the enterprise side, and from ad hoc, from SecuSmart, bringing them together so that we can start building more coherent uh, 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 solutions that cut across huge numbers of verticals. Now you are a security guy, so I know you're not putting everything out on social media, but you are a LinkedIn type guy. Anything, uh, if people are looking for you, they want to know what you're up to. Uh, de de definitely hit, hit up on LinkedIn, and uh, I, I, uh, usually uh, things that I do are, are, are broadcast bo uh, across both the Silence and the BlackBerry uh, social media feeds, so definitely follow those. He's an approachable guy. If you see him in in San Francisco at RSA and say hi, he'll probably say hi. Uh, hundred percent. You can also see all the stuff that he's up to at BlackBerry.com and also at Silence.com on Twitter. It's at BlackBerry and at Silence Inc. I am Matt Stevenson. Look for me at PacMatt73. I got it.